ladies and gentlemen, kings and queens, buccaneers, and corsairs, this is your captain, the Pirate King speaking. And today, we are featuring a team that I have thought a lot about. I was considering the meta and the types of Pokemon that are roaming around in Great League. And furthermore, the most common leads. And I came to the conclusion that uh, Diggersby would be a very good lead. Uh, he can take a lot of damage. He is versatile. He's the Great League uh, Groudon. We already know that. So I considered this team and then, you know, I tried to build uh, around that. A bunch of stuff that counters uh, the meta or at least hands handles it fairly well. And I came up with this. Diggersby, Frostlass, and Venusaur. Fantastic Pokemon all on their own. Uh, together, they can do a lot of work. <laughs> and in this first battle, uh, we have already taken out the Scrafty. Fantastic. And now we are throwing a Sludge Bomb onto this Altaria. And rightly, they shield because uh, they take a good chunk of damage from that. I think uh, almost half health, actually. And they're thinking that they can farm me down. But you know what? They can't. They cannot farm me down. Venusaur gets to the move. Another Sludge Bomb. Does he decide to shield this one or go down to two shields? He is deciding not to shield that one. And he farms down the Venusaur. Now we're going to to go into our direct counter to this good old Frostlass, old reliable, and uh, it, <laughs> they're throwing a dazzling gleam. <gasps> All right, a little unexpected, but okay. Uh, and this one uh, was, uh, you know, I, I was hoping to get the fire punch off a little earlier. It didn't happen, so I uh, kind of had to shield there. I figured that Frostlass could probably shadow ball. Uh, the thing, so you know it's still it still work out, uh, or you know maybe we'll even get to a fire punch, and we were so close to a fire punch, but sadly we were not. And I was thinking this this is a bummer. Like if they throw like a side beam or something, that's gonna hurt a lot. Uh, but you know what they decide to throw? A weather ball. Like I know that both moves are technically resisted, but this way we get to farm up extra. We need to farm up extra because we know that there's that Altaria in the back, probably with some leftover energy. Uh, and even though our Powder Snows are going to do a lot of damage, I am not sure if we are going to be able to take it out before it gets the move, because Dragon Breaths are kind of hard to count. So I throw the Avalanche, and we are able to take the win. Fantastic. Once, uh, you know, Go Battle Lag gets, uh, gets all of its... Eggs back in order, right? All of its Easter eggs, cause, cause the rabbit diggers be. Nah, you get it. I'm sure you get it. Uh, so we take that first one. Fantastic. Uh, I I did uh, I did two sets with this team because I was running a a different one before. Uh, and, and and you know, in the second one, I'm gonna be honest with you. The second set, one, two, three, was not great. Ran into a, a lot of direct counters to Diggersby. Kind of a bummer. But uh, this set was pretty damn good. Uh, Haunter. Haunter in the lead. Always a spammy pick. Uh, but of course this is a direct counter. Pretty much, you know, counters everything that it has. Uh, and we don't exactly want to go into Venusaur against this Metacham. Because Metacham can learn Psychic and Ice Punch. Uh, and, you know, some stuff that definitely hurts uh, Venusaur. But they're just going to go for power-up punches. I am pretty confident that they're at least going to shield something here. Uh, so I decide to throw the Avalanche because that would still do a ton of damage. Uh, and I'm, you know what, I'm just going to let power up, uh, power punches through. Because it's just it's not going to take it out. It's going to do a good chunk of damage, but it is not going to take out Frostlass. It is resisted damage. Um, and I don't want them to get to a second one, so, or a third one, I should say. So, uh, I throw the Shadow Ball, see if they want to go down two shields. And 
they are deciding not to. They are keeping that shield. Let's see what comes in against the Frost Lass. And it's going to be Haunter, of course. Now, definitely, I was wanting to get to that Frost, uh, to the Frost Lass, uh, to the Avalanche, but that was not going to happen. Uh, whatever this is, I'm fine. Like, Sludge Bomb, okay. Uh, I don't know why they would throw a Shadow Punch. That would be, that would be weird. But either way, uh, farm up a little bit. And they swap into Azu, and we go into our Venusaur, and we pretty much have this game won. We are obviously going to shield a uh, an Ice Beam because we do not want to get hit by that. We just we just do not want that to happen. So, counting their fast moves, and we are going to throw right before they get to their second one. And uh, let's see if they want to uh, if they want to take this or if they want to shield. How do they want to play this out? Uh, yep, they're going to take it. They're going down. And they just blew all their energy, so we're going to throw a Frenzy Plant. And this will take it out if they do not shield. And they decide that they're not going to shield, and we take the win. Fantastic. I'm pretty happy about that. All right, we're going to go into the next battle here. I was experiencing a lot of lag. Uh, just It was just being really slow at certain times. And, you know, kind of a, kind of a bumper little pain in the ass but you know what you know what else is a pain in the ass diggersby to your opponents because he's very spammy which is a very good pokemon uh actually yeah all these like i said before are uh are good pokemon on their own uh so next battle <laughs> gengar you gotta love these leads huh uh and they are swapping into meganium and we are going into our Frostlass. And the thing is, this is, I figure, like, I know I can survive a Frenzy Plant, but I also had no idea that Frenzy Plant actually does that much damage. So I was like, ugh, you know what, I should I should have shielded that first one. Just should have done it. But right now, I'm just going to go for Avalanches, as many as I can, as fast as I can. Hopefully he can't, uh farm me down here uh so we get to it fantastic let's see if he wants to use that final shield uh yep he is shielding and he threw the move great fantastic uh so i'm pretty sure that this meganium is energy dry not a hundred percent sure though uh i don't really want to potentially take an earthquake or anything so we're going to go into diggersby and throw a fire punch sadly uh this was not enough to ko it that was a uh, that was a bummer uh you know they did um <laughs> they ended up getting to the frenzy plant yeah so they uh they won swap but that's okay because they use both shields uh and after using this shield we still have one left great let's see what they decide to go into uh and i mean you're not gonna be running into haunter and uh, then Gengar leads very often. Uh, I decide to overfarm there because I don't want them to swap. And I know that whatever they have will not kill me. So unless it's a focus blast, in which case uh, it takes a while to get there. And yeah, it's a uh, stump fisk in the back. There was uh, no way they were going to get out of that one. Uh, so I think, uh, I think that was the third game. Not sure. Don't really count games. I count fast moves, but not games. Uh, but either way, we're going into the next game. What this team is doing very well so far. Uh, like I said, I was honest before. A 2-3 set afterwards. Not not that great. Definitely made some mistakes. Definitely should have thrown some moves before they got to theirs. Uh, I'll definitely be keeping that in mind next time I play this team. Uh, Bastiodon. Beautiful beautiful and i also uh designed this team to handle uh grass hole because nobody likes grass hole uh by the way going into a uh an interesting matchup here i uh you know we're both dealing super effective damage to each other uh gonna shield up a shadow ball fantastic and uh now we're just gonna go for avalanches i think yeah we're counting their quick moves making sure that they are not at their moves yet before we throw want to have a good bit of energy depending on what they do and uh yeah lagged out a bit there but you know what that's okay because we are able to get to another avalanche let's see what they decide 
to do. They decided to shield. Great. Now, this one, I was pretty sure that they had enough energy for a Shadow Ball, but I was also conf I was also fairly confident it was an Icy Wind, but I did not want to uh, take that damage because the Hexes would have taken me out. Uh, and sadly, we are forced to throw the Avalanche because we are debuffed. Otherwise, I think we could have farmed it down. That's okay. You know what? We, uh, you know, even shields, you know, zero shields. <laughs> so... Uh, you know, I mean, I won, I won, uh, switch there, and I'm throwing out the, uh, Diggersby, because there's not really that much that Hypnos can usually do, I mean, the, sometimes they run, uh, Ice Punch, and he goes for a Shadow Ball, which is crazy, he should, like, any punch would have done better there, like, it's just more cost efficient there, uh, so he definitely should have went for that, so we're just gonna go, uh, for the Earthquake, and we're going to have them surrender. <laughs> I think he realized his mistake because I think uh, I think the hypno can learn ice punch pretty sure, and even then they wouldn't have taken it out. Uh, but the the punches were definitely the the right play there, unless it was single move, in which case you get get a second move. It doesn't even cost that much. Low battery, classic. I think this is the last battle of the set pretty sure I'm yeah yeah I think I'm on track there uh, either way uh, Diggersby runs into a lowland Marowak this is another thing that was really annoying me so I wanted to have a solution to it uh, and yeah they go into Cresselia and we swap in to Frostlass uh, we're just gonna go straight for the Shadow Ball I think here um, now whatever they have here uh, doesn't KO me so I was, you know, I was okay with taking that. I was okay with uh, throwing the Shadow Ball, too. You know, I was hoping, you know, I didn't shield. Maybe they won't shield. So uh, this, I was actually surprised at the amount of damage that the Shadow Ball did to Cresselia. And at this point, we can uh, shield and uh, farm down. I don't actually know. Uh, I was pretty sure this was a Grass Knot, because otherwise I don't think he would have swapped into Cresselia. But uh, he might have anyways, actually. Uh, but yeah, so I was, I was, you know, fairly sure it was a Grass Knot, but, uh, I have no idea how much damage Grass Knot does to, uh, to Frostlass. Uh, either way, throwing another Shadow Ball. Uh, baiting, uh, it's just, you know, sometimes it's a bad idea, because you feel bad when, when they let it through, and you're like, oh, there goes all that. Now, we are not actually able to get to a Shadow Ball, but they are not counting so they think that they yeah they think that this is a shadow ball and they end up shielding that one as well so we took out two shields great thank you frostlass you are amazing so going into the direct counter here i didn't want to throw right away because i didn't want them to swap into something and catch it and because the alolan marowak was running hex i was pretty sure it was going to be a fire blast but i also knew it was not going to KO me so I charge up a little bit more, and I swap into Venusaur when they swap, because I'm sure that they did not want to lose that precious Marowak. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, sucks uh, sucks for them, right? And I am pretty sure we are able to... See, at this uh, health, I'm pretty sure we're able to tank an Ice Beam. So I was like, okay, I'll save, I'll save the shield. Why not? Uh, and they went for a play rough. Must have been running Player of Hydro Pump. Uh, and, yep, they surrendered. That was a good amount of surrenders, honestly. Uh, yeah, Diggersby is just uh, absolutely amazing. I think this team is pretty good. Uh, you know, think about running it. It's a, it's a good team. Went 5-0, and so it d I'm doing something right here. Uh, either way, that's going to be the end of the video for today. I hope you enjoyed the battles, uh, and I hope you... Stick around for, uh, you know, for the next one. And make sure to like and subscribe, of course.